Welcome one and all to CU LFC Media for today's live stream of this FA Women's Championship match between Coventry United Ladies and London City Lionesses. Liam Cook here with you throughout the duration of today's match. Now, you were very nearly in luck because we were trying to get the sound working, so uh, until about 30 seconds ago, you are going to have a match without this voice. So, uh, yeah, but unfortunately, I've managed to fix it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we are live at the Brooks Park Arena, ready for kickoff in about five minutes' time as Coventry uh, United take on London City, who up until last week were unbeaten for six matches uh, before suffering a narrow 1-0 defeat to title chasing Durham. Uh, let's get into the uh, starting lineups for you now, uh, just before uh, the start of the game. So there's the Coventry United team on the left-hand side, so just two changes for the Red and Greens as uh, Anna Wilcox is suspended uh, for being sent off last week against Charlton. It's a two-game suspension, so she should be back for the, I believe it's uh, the Leicester game uh, she'll be back for. Uh, elsewhere, Amy Wathen returns to the starting lineup, and dropping to the bench is uh, Alice Hassel. Uh, so um, that's the team for Coventry United. On to the... Uh, London City Lionesses squad. Uh, they also make two changes with Chantelle Mackey and uh, Elizabeth Idupi dropping out. Idupi is not in the squad, so I assume uh, it may be an injury uh, for the uh, Albanian striker. Uh, coming into the team are Lily Ag and Lucy Fitzgerald, who actually scored for London City in the 2 0 victory against United in December. Uh, also on the score sheet that day was uh, the uh, number 14 up. Front, that's uh, Callie Balfour, uh, she's also starting today. So the teams are just coming out now, Coventry United lining up. And we're waiting on the arrival of London City Lionesses. And these two teams uh, met for well, the first time in a while in an FA Cup match a couple of years ago, which was uh, played just across the, uh, the river. Uh, of, uh, of London. Uh, the game was actually played just across from the Canary Wharf. Fantastic backdrop. That was in the FA Cup third round, I believe. That's the uh, season that Coventry United actually won the uh, National League uh, Southern Premier Division title. Whereas this season is a uh, very different prospect. Coventry United one point behind uh, London Bees. They're currently bottom of the table, but uh, with some uh, sort of winnable matches to go. Uh, London Bees, I believe, only have three games left, and they finish their season a week before Coventry do. So uh, the Red Bees will know what they have to do uh, as they hit the final day. Uh, we're just going to um, turn the camera off for a second as we are getting ready for the match as London City are coming out. Uh, live coverage will begin very shortly. There you go, mate. Cheers. Yeah, we're all good now. One was up. I mean, yeah, go on, get in there. Um, Uh, as you can probably hear, we've had a few uh, issues with the, uh, the HDMI lead from the camera today. Uh, but uh, thankfully, it seems as if we uh, are now okay. Uh, we've got the sound on fine. And we are all set to go at the Butts Park Arena with uh, live coverage of Coventry United Ladies versus uh, London City Lionesses. As you can see London in the uh, rather fetching turquoise strips, uh, certainly one of the uh, more visually uh, appealing colours in terms of uh, playing kit in the uh, FA Women's Championship. Some say that uh, red and green of Coventry United may be unconventional, but of course, uh, for those who don't know, red and green are the uh, civic colours of Coventry. In fact, uh, Coventry City uh, used to wear red and green before they made the uh, change to uh, dark blue. And then 
more famously to Sky Blue in the 1960s. Two captains meeting in the centre circle. Sue Wood for Coventry United. Take you through the starting lineups uh, once again. If you missed it uh, when we went through them the first time, so for Coventry United, the lineup is as follows Sue Wood, Ashley Brown, Nikki Miles, Becky Anderson, Hayley Crackle, Fran Orthodoxu, Helen Germany, Katie Morris, Destiny Toussaint, Amber Hughes, and Amy Watham. On the bench of Coventry United, Liv Clark, Holly Chandler, Phoebe Warner, Alice Hassel, Beth Merrick, Georgia Stevens, and Jenna Roberts. And the London City team is as follows. Shay Yanez, Hannah Short, Harley Bennett, the captain, Grace Neville, Ali Murphy, Hayley Nolan, Poppy Wilson, Lily Ag, Kelly Balfour, Lucy Fitzgerald, and Atlanta Primus. On the bench are Nina Wilson, Chantelle Mackey, Elena Priest, Frida Ayisi, Juliet Kempe, Annie Rossiter, Flo Fife, and Lily Percy. members of the uh, teams on the pitch and the um, coaching staff too taking the knee in a continued show of solidarity. Racism will never be accepted in football. It is Coventry United kicking from left to right in the red and green. London City in turquoise. The action is underway here on CULFC Media. Destiny Toussaint with an early interception, breaking up the left-hand side. Amy Watham trying to make herself available. Toussaint going for the more direct route, is blocked off. And launched into the penalty area by Hayley Crackle, brought down comfortably by Yanis. Strolling away at the back is Short. Coventry United quick to intercept to be on top of their game today. London City are a much improved side from the one that uh, beat Coventry in December. At that point, London were actually bottom of the table. Since then, they've gone professional and have uh, recently just ended a six-game unbeaten run. They've lost 1-0 last week to uh, title-chasing Durham, who are actually level top of the league with uh, Leicester City. It's a very tight-knit battle up there and certainly at the bottom of the table too and Coventry can't afford slip-ups like that today there's going to be space for the shot for Lucy Fitzgerald where it's a tighter angle than she would have liked and it's uh, bundled into touch by Ashley Brown over to take the corner is uh, going to Primus oh no, she can score them can she set them up and towards that near post in fact it was uh, shy of the near post it went straight into the side netting this is the last time Coventry United um, LFC Media, or CULFC Media for short, uh, will be on air for a while. Uh, the next couple of matches are FA exclusive. The next time we're on now, I believe, is going to be the Crystal Palace game. Primus. And then from the right hand side, could put London City Lionesses on the uh, front foot, but it flashes across the face of goal. we are on air here on CU TV is uh, actually the 25th of April so nearly two months until our next broadcast and the next time Coventry United are playing is on the 28th of March that's against Leicester it's an FA player exclusive so you can catch the match live on the FA player 
Paul claims referee doesn't want to know. And after that, the next game is Blackburn against Coventry United. Davies. That's an, another FA exclusive. We are hoping to stream the last two matches. We are definitely doing the uh, Crystal Palace game, which is the last home game of the season. That's on the 28th, uh, sorry, 25th of April. And then the uh, final game against Durham on the 2nd of May. We're still waiting to hear whether Coventry United uh, media will be able to cover that game. Turn towards Fitzgerald and they're all wayward. Hughes, Coventry have got to get themselves out of danger here. And Nicky Miles, no nonsense as always. If in doubt, get it out. Oh, yeah. Teams reform at the back. Primus, second from behind by Nicky Miles. Fitzgerald, Murphy in support. Here is Ali Murphy, returns to Lucy Fitzgerald. In the square for Wilson, Orthodox who gets it and leaps out of the way. Amy Woffen, shot from behind. And Harley Bennett to intercept. Cushion to Toussaint by Haley Crackle. Toussaint darting up the left wing with Lily Ag for company. Agging from the side, another challenge from Grace Neville, but Toussaint can't be stopped. Destiny Toussaint with a sensational run. She's still going, but she needs to finish it off. She needs to find a teammate and finds Fran Orthodoxu. Orthodoxu will hit it straight over the crossbar. But the tenacity on show from Destiny Toussaint was unbelievable. She certainly has made an impression since her return to the club from Birmingham. Played last week as uh, more of an out-and-out -out striker than usual, but Coventry uh, lacking the services of uh, Keely Davis, who uh, sadly is still not well enough to play, should be back for the next game. So uh, I'm glad to say that Keeley is well enough to join us today. Balfour loses out to Crackle. Waffen the target, but it's only as far as Katie Morris. That's just rolls past Ashley Brown. Unfortunate for the former Aston Villa defender. Brown is a mainstay in the Coventry team now after the first half of the season, plagued by injury. Primus nods it on, it's easy pickings for the makeshift centre-back, Becky Anderson. Becky usually a midfielder, but uh, with the lack of centre-backs today, Becky has uh, has to fill in alongside Nicky Miles. And got to drag down from behind by Lily Ag, and that's going to be a Coventry United free kick inside the centre circle. Find it over to Port Toussaint. That's one in the air by the London City defender. Ag racing through a crowded midfield, but Amy Wathen not letting that ball get out of her sight. Toussaint. Ag not giving up on possession, however, and her work has paid off with Balfour making the interception. And the final touch has actually come off Balfour. And the challenge from Destiny Toussaint. And in fact, it's been overturned. The referee. Deciding that it was indeed a London City throw. Can they take advantage here? It's in for Fitzgerald, just bounces past her at the crucial moment in the penalty area. <laughs> Orthodoxy sticks a foot in, and that's the end of that chapter. Dermody loses out. Here's Bennett. Dermody determined to wrestle that ball back. It's safely at the feet of Hannah Short for London City. Primus and Miles going for the same ball. Awkward bounce takes it over on, and now it's Lily Ag. Plenty of space for Fitzgerald, crossing opportunity. The path blocked off by Ashley Brown. Help is on the way in the form of Ali Murphy. Hughes in from the side. That's going to be a throw right in the corner. It should have been a London ball, but Coventry United have actually been given the throw, and as you can probably hear, the London City staff not happy about it. Neither are the players. 
And also good afternoon to uh, Alan Howe, who is uh, tuned in today. Come on, come on, lad. Primus. Stern defending from Nikki Mars, but she is less than pleased with Ashley Brown failing to cover Primus. And as Nikki will always say, if you want a job done right, you've got to do it yourself. That's exactly what she did. Primus on set piece duty once more. Will it be more successful than the previous attempt? Towards the far post, it certainly was better. She's got another corner out of it. She got past the uh, near post anyway. Automatically basic, better than the last one. Uh, if you are enjoying today's coverage, make sure to hit the like button on YouTube and leave a comment with any feedback or any messages you want read out on air. We've had nine minutes at the Butch Park Arena in the FA Women's Championship. Coventry United nil, London City nil. Clear opportunities for either side yet. London hoping to change that with this corner coming in from the right hand side of the boot of Atlanta Primus towards the near post. It's nodded over the woodwork by Bennett. Uh, also, if um, you don't want to hear the results of the, uh, the Celtic game, in terms of the uh, Scottish Premiership title, then uh, avert your ears now. But, uh, for those of you who uh, are interested, Rangers are champions. Uh, Rangers have been uh, declared champions of the uh, Scottish Premiership. Congratulations to Stephen Gerald and his team. Here's Lucy Fitzgerald. Primus wants it through, Primus gets it through, tight angle, but it's straight into the diving Sue Woods, he tried to put it across the net. Safest pair of hands in the championship, if you ask me. Heavy touch from Hughes. London wanted a free kick there. They could have had one with uh, Fitzgerald sandwiched between the two Coventry players. Primus couldn't bring it under control. Can United clear? Yes, they can with Hayley Crackle. London just keep on coming back for more. Here's Balfour. In a race with Hayley Crackle, a race that she seems to have won, puts it across for Atlanta Primus and a vital block by Nikki Miles. Promising play, but Miles ensuring that the scoreline stays blank. I want to say uh, good afternoon to uh, Jess, who is tuned in. There's all the best from a uh, London City Lions fan. Also, Nathan Primus. Not sure whether this is related to uh, Atlanta Primus. He says, uh, let's go Lionesses. And here is Atlanta Primus with the corner. Strong header away by Nikki Miles. Nothing's getting through her today. Return ball to Primus. She'll get a second crack at it. And enough contact on the header there. Lily Ag Fitzgerald. Danger far from over as London looked to go again. And the long-range strike from Poppy Wilson didn't hit the mark. Sue Wood lining up the goal kick. United started on the front foot. That's London have grabbed the initiative in the last few minutes. Morris. And again, a little push from behind. It's enough for the referee to blow the whistle. The London City subs going for a quick warm up. A reminder that uh, on the bench are uh, Wilson, Mackey, Priest, Ayisi, Kempe, Rossiter, Fife, and Percy for London City. Well, we haven't got Anna Wilcox to uh, try and hit one from the halfway line today, so it's Becky Anderson who takes over free kick duties. Amy Woffen gets the shot away, but didn't have the power behind it. It wasn't going to challenge Yanez. Oh, 
few absentees today, including Anna Wilcox, Keely Davis out too, and Bas Gorn, a long-term absentee with that ACL injury, which we now told she is making good progress. And the usual, a bit of assistance from Matt. Amy Waffen gets the ball back. Destiny Toussaint, awkward first touch, but we'll get a second chance deflected through, and Yanez claims. Wanting some recompense from the referee for an instant in that passage of play. The referee not forthcoming with that request. It's back with Yanez. He's been a little busy in the last minute or two, she has previously. Long ball nodded high into the sky by Crackle. Nolan. Now Balfour. Ali Balfour, and it's uh, well intercepted by Hayley Crackle. Now Toussaint can get moving. Amy Waffen blocked off by some good defending by Hannah Short. Yanis. That was Annie Murphy at left back. Murphy slips it through. Primus is the target, and again it's Nikki Miles saying, Not today. United there for a bit of pushing and pulling. In the process of setting up. Quite a few uh, Lionesses fans in the uh, comments. We have uh, Francis Phillips, Lise, and Stephen Lloyd all supporting the Lionesses. And here's from the Coventry United fans if we can, with uh, one of the more passionate supporters in uh, Alan Howe backing up the Red and Greens in the comments. header as far as Wilson. Dermody in to pick up the pieces. Orthodoxu to Toussaint. Destiny Toussaint. More cautious approach with the left hand side and now she's starting to get some speed. The move curtailed. On the far side of the field. Becky, uh, sorry, uh, Helen Doney I should say getting stuck in on Balfour. Amber Hughes loses out to Poppy Wilson. Sliding by Amber Hughes, expertly done, but only diverted as far as SD2. So in fact, the referee has actually motioned that uh, play on has been given, so it would have been a foul, or it was a good challenge. But way too much space for Lucy Fitzgerald on the left-hand side. Flag stays down, and the ball stays out of the net. The presence of Ashley Brown may have had something to do with that uh, rather poor finish. Coming here from uh, Mark Neville, I believe related to uh, Grace Neville of uh, London City Lionesses. Says, great commentary from CULFC. Good luck to Grace Neville and the London City Lionesses. Lovely to have such facilities to play an elite game on. Well, it is one of the uh, better grounds in the FA Women's Championship, I do say so myself. That's part of the arena, a 3,000 capacity stadium, which uh, unfortunately is uh, rather more empty than it would be at the moment. And we're hoping to have uh, the fans back for next season. But the restrictions set to be listed. Lifted in July. It's Hayley Crackle. Crackle's cross diverted out. And that'll be a Coventry United corner following the block. Jay Bradford having a word with Ashley Brown as uh, Brown has let Fitzgerald get away a little too often. Cluster of red and turquoise in that penalty area. Who can Amber Hughes find? It's towards Tucson, and it was deflected on by Waffen, kept out by Yanez. The danger not over yet. It's back in towards Tucson. Collision with Primus, deflected through again, and another save for Yanez. Closest anyone's come by a country mile to scoring. Here's Ali Murphy. Poppy Wilson. Yanez. A 
be Holly Bennett. Murphy and Ashley Brown this time saw it coming. To the back heel of Dermody Fraser into danger. Wasn't expecting the ball in that vicinity. Wilson. The leg in by Morris, but Wilson not letting it get away from her, bringing it back to the Lionesses. Bennett across to her centre back partner in, uh, in a short. And Fitzgerald one on one with Sue Wood. Trying to loft it over the goalkeeper, but loft it over the crossbar too. Nearly caught napping by Agler, turning up the tempo now. London, Coventry have got to try and handle it. They have done so far. Here's Amber Hughes, heavy first touch, takes it away from her. Now Hughes and Amy Woffen trying to get to the loose ball, but uh, they had Ali Murphy's name written all over it. Yanez. Top field and now Primus is one on one. London City with a golden opportunity to open the scoring. It's Saden onto the crossbar and fired out by Balfour. The second time in less than a minute that London City have had a one way ticket to the net and for the second time they couldn't stamp the ticket. It's coming, City, it's coming! 20 minutes gone at the Butts Park Arena. Somehow it's still Coventry United ladies nil, London City Lionesses nil. Great chances for both sides in the last five minutes. You have to think the first goal is coming. This ain't going to be a nil-nil. Cushion down to Amber Hughes, but Brown couldn't stretch far enough. Murphy with ball in hand, Primus and Fitzgerald there. Falls to the feet of Lucy Fitzgerald, but Hughes gets herself between player and ball. Lost it only as far as short. Bennett. Lucy Fitzgerald sprinting up the left to catch up to her. She has to, but now she's got to find a route past Ashley Brown. Step over from Fitzgerald. Easily intercepted by Nicky Miles, who I would say has been the player of the match so far for Coventry. Most reliable centre backs in the league. Thrilling start to the game here on CULFC Media, and Balfour has lost control of that. Score from the match between London Bees and uh, Leicester. Of course, London Bees one of the uh, teams in and around the drop zone. Obviously, the Coventry United will be hoping to finish in front of. It's still nil-nil in that match. <laughs> Ali Murphy. Here's Bennett. Pace has just slowed down a little in the uh, last minute or so that burst of energy from both Coventry and London. Wilson had to get away from her. Morris just able to turn it past the left back Ali Murphy. There's Harley Bennett, the pride skipper. Blocked by Orthodoxu. Jay Bradford proves you've still got the uh, skills to pay the bills with a uh, little keepy up there. This Jay Bradford, a uh, former Coventry United player, well, back when the club was Coventry City. Oh, 
alongside Jay in the uh, technical area was former Aston Villa captain Katie Morris, the assistant manager. She's been with the club for uh, three years now. Crossfield ball by Bennett. It's going to be a tough task for Cali Balfour to uh, catch that ball. And it was a task too far for the uh, London number 14. That's a beeline to the box. It's Toussaint with a nice stuck out by Short. Brings that move to an end. And now it's London trying to get on the counter, but Fitzgerald couldn't reach the pass. Brown plays it to the right flank, intercepted by Murphy. Fitzgerald puts a free leg to Amber Hughes there. Cheeky and effective. Murphy to Bennett. Going alone here and finds Short. In fact, that's uh, Wilson, I should say. Over to Grace Neville. <laughs> Toussaint takes advantage of the slide from Wilson. Now Destiny Toussaint once again blocked off by Short, but she'll get another crack at it. Oh, what a hit! What a hit that was! From Haley Crackle. When you think of goals, Haley's probably not one of the players that you think of first. But we'll be thinking about that goal for months. What a rocket from Haley Crackle. A crackle cracker if ever I've seen one. Coventry United take the lead in emphatic style. How crucial could a win today be for the Red and Greens? They haven't won since that uh, incredible comeback victory against Charlton, which was actually the week before they played London City Lionesses. A low bobbling effort from Liliag will do nothing to change the score, score line here at the Butts. An absolute belter from Hayley Crackle. some of your uh, comments out shortly once we've calmed down from the uh, incredible strike we've just seen from a left back no less the left backs do score goals I mean, of course Gareth Bale starting out as a left back Ashley Brown wants options Coventry want a second goal Waffen here's Amber Hughes now it's Helen Dermody Toussaint, who really made that goal possible. Ashley Brown into the penalty area. Hughes just a little too late to the party, but they've got the throw out of it. Uh, Jessica Mack said the uh, Butts Park Arena is a great ground to visit. As she remembers the uh, friendly. Uh, Staff here at Coventry United dispensing tasty chicken burgers and chips last year. Sadly, no chicken burgers in sight today. Great, now you got me hungry, Jess. Dee <laughs> uh, Dee Lloyd says, loving the game. Say hi to all the uh, Kent girl, elite girls watching the Mighty Pride. Uh, Footwill says, uh, me and the boys supporting Annie Rossiter. Come on, London City. for the ball with Wilson and with a bit of help from Orthodoxy she's won that battle Dermody two side chance from behind by Neville Balfour here's Nolan Balfour looking to make the run it's deflected out uh, Paul says great strike from Coventry Alan Howe says, yes, 
getting there. What a fantastic goal. And uh, this is my personal favourite from James Hindle. He says, Martin Luther Ping. Uh, certainly was a ping, I can tell you that. I want to hear it wasn't Hayley Crackle. Will it be enough to see Coventry through to victory, though? So a long time to go. Handball claims. The referee was going to blow the whistle against it. Lily Ag trying to square it. Sewer does enough. The defender can't clear, though. Oh, and somehow Primus doesn't hit the target. The third guilt edge opportunity. Now, London City Lionesses have wasted. And if they're going to get something out of this game, they can't afford to be that wasteful. Here at the Butts Park Arena. We will be taking a five minute break at half time. So make sure to go and get yourself a cup and see. Be back here for three o'clock for the second half. We'll have a little bit of a uh, half time team talk as well. And make sure to uh, look out for the highlights of this match, which will be uh, released within 24 hours of the final whistle. Also, the uh, interviews from uh, Connor West. And Connor also providing uh, your Twitter stream today. Determined run from Amber Hughes, who's got the throwing out of it, it's taken over the line by Nolan. There's a scoreline here at the Butts Park Arena. Coventry United 1, London City 0. This child couldn't keep it from going out. Aerial duel won by Bennett. Nolan's in there. Loses out to a combination of Hughes and Morris. It's Fran off Adoksu, sends it into the box, but uh, no one waiting to receive it. Balfour. And um, more determined than ever to try and find that opening goal for themselves. If you missed the uh, goal for Coventry United, you'll certainly want to see it on the highlights. That's offside, given against Kelly Balfour. Score from the match in Charlton and Lewis, 0 0 there as well. Make a score from uh, London Bees against Leicester, that's 0 0 2. As it stands, Coventry will be moving off the foot of the table today. But they've got to hold on, they're going to try and find a second goal ideally. It's a penultimate home game of the season. He's Got that free kick, it's Coventry United who have got the free kick. A real tussle between Primus and Dermody. London bemused to see the decision given against them. And it looks like there could be a change very early on for London City. We'll tell you about that in a moment. It's Anderson. Crackle sends it skyward. Wanted out of danger by Short. And I can tell you that Flo Fife is about to come on for London City. Whether it's a uh, tactical switch or a potential injury remains to be seen. She's uh, ready and waiting to come on following this uh, passage of play. Toussaint. Defected to Katie Morris. You know, don't want to take any silly risks here. It was a moment of brilliance which gave them the lead. Hopefully a moment of uh, madness won't cost them it. And all claims that it bounced off the uh, shoulder of Katie Morris. Fitzgerald certainly a threat from any sort of position, but definitely from here. Nolan squares it. Here's Lily Ag. Overlapping room being made. Neville with the cross. And somehow doesn't find its way in. It's deflected out for a corner. And the, no, it's been given as a goal kick. 
I was giving us a quarter for a moment. So. Well, here comes the substitution, and it's Poppy Wilson leaving the field. So he doesn't seem to be injury related to a tactical switch early on. Very rare to see first half substitutions unless uh, injuries are involved. On uh, 33 minutes, Poppy Wilson's day is over. Russell doesn't seem too impressed that she's been subbed off, but the manager clearly feeling that uh, a change of tack is necessary. Will it just be poetic? Country United can get their first win of 2021. Just one more home game to play after this. That being against Crystal Palace in uh, April, the end of April. Sue so were called into action, launching that that pass from miles away. You can see now London are trying to stretch Coventry. Ag, that's got to be a high boot, surely. Nearly took off the head of Katie Morris. Here comes Fitzgerald. Stopped on the edge of the box by Ashley Brown. You know, he wanted a free kick, but they'll take the counter now. And it's with Amy Wofford. Space on the left-hand side for Destiny Toussaint. And boy, can she move. And Brown making the run on the right-hand side as well. Toussaint. Setting herself for the strike, maybe. She does set herself for the strike. Doesn't quite find the same success as Hayley Crackle did, but not a bad effort by any means. We are going off air at half time for around five minutes. <laughs> the best of clips by Yanis, scooped up by Amber Hughes. It's with Dermody, just taken away at a crucial moment by Nolan. Round four blocked off by the substitute Fife. It's Fitzgerald darting towards the box. Nikki Miles again is the difference at the back. And the referee has given a free kick against Amber Hughes. In a bit too physical with Nolan. Time for London City. It's time for her short to step up and send it floating towards the United Penalty area. It's just out of range for Liliag and bounces harmlessly into the hands of Wood. 36 minutes gone. Country United lead by one goal to nil. Impressive strike from Hayley Crackle is the difference between the two sides at the moment. Punt from Nicky Miles, which uh, I think a rugby player would probably be uh, proud of. Ends up out on this near side, of course, Cuts Park Arena, for those who don't know, is primarily a rugby stadium. And so you can probably tell by the uh, lines on the uh, pitch, the home of uh, Coventry Rugby Club and the Coventry Bears Rugby League team. Harris <laughs> trying to slide it to Hughes, but it's just past the winger. London have certainly had the, the more chances, probably the better chances as well, but haven't been able to take them. Coventry have had uh, a lot fewer chances, but have taken them. I've taken one of them at least. They'll be hoping to take at least one more to give themselves a bit of comfort, a bit of breathing room. This is on the right-hand side. Wappen plays it on for Ashley Brown. Can Brown put in the cross, or just put it right onto the bonds of uh, Bennett? And despite the best efforts of Yanez, the ball is out of play. It's going to be a corner to the Red and Greens. Uh, Nathan Primus says, great commentary. Thank you very much, Nathan. Much appreciated. 
It's not always easy to do uh, do the commentary and the cam work at the same time, but uh, I managed to get by. Hughes it's in towards Morris. Primus. And they get it away here. And they have been just about. A space on the right hand side for Amber Hughes. And Hughes has picked out beautifully. Can she find a route through? No, she can't. She drags down Harley Bennett in the process. Substitutes going for a quick warm up. A reminder that uh, London have already used one of their substitutions with Poppy Wilson being replaced by uh, Flo Fife in uh, just the 31st minute. No injury involved, the change of tactic from uh, London City. Now he has to take the free kick in the position where the foul took place. Country have plenty of options on the bench, including uh, striker Georgia Roberts, Alice Hassel, Beth Merrick. We know how much danger she possesses. So plenty of attacking options on the bench. Phoebe Warner, the midfielder there too. Short, almost cut short there. Hughes and gets the throwing out of it, puts it out off Murphy. Well played from the veteran. Brown pick out on this occasion. Morris, Waffen, and Hughes from left to right. Got up the arm. He's off the top of the arm. One was right in front of it. He could have had a better view if he tried. But uh, the flag stayed down. Five minutes to go until half time here on CULFC Media. Coventry United looking to end the first half with the second goal but uh, it's not to be on this occasion Hayley Cackle trying to prevent the run of Neville the two number 12s going head to head it's Neville who wins that battle but uh, commentary have won the war with uh, Balfour losing out to Destiny Toussaint dropping back what defeat by Neville Primus Primus again receives it from Balfour London have been so wasteful in this first half. They need to start taking these opportunities, but their opportunities seem to have dried up a little bit over the last few minutes. And they craft one here with Ag. Not if Mars has anything to say about it. Mind you, there we have a bit of a technical issue.
crackle. Away. Balfour can Primus end the second half with a goal with chest control by Sue Wood. United averting disaster. The referee's given a free kick in favour of London City, but of Alji Bargi in the, the uh, aftermath. time. I think there'll be too many stoppages. So it's Hannah Short. Sends it in. Punched by Wood. Dermody does the rest. They'll come back in with Murphy. And diverted out by Hughes. to added minutes. Much clear. Uh, I'm just hearing from uh, Connor that uh, London Bees are being beaten by Leicester 2-0. So at the moment, Coventry will be two points clear of the relegation zone. Of course, it's not completely certain that there will be relegation this season due to what's going on. to Lily Ag. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. all lined up on the uh, white rugby line, ready to defend what will probably be the final attacking move of the half as Ag still trying to get back to her feet. in by Short, safely out on the near side, hooked away by Brown, and they'll get one last opportunity before the break. Country United throw. decision that has uh, amused the uh, London City staff. Play continues, we've had a good couple of minutes already time. The whistle in hand and that will be the end of the first half here on uh, CUFC Media. Coventry United 1, London City 0 is the half-time score. We'll be back in around 10 minutes here on CULFC Media for the second half.
Hopefully we'll add in today. <laughs> On United. <laughs> right, your challenge now is to get it bang on 45 0 0 0 0. That's your challenge. I don't think you can ever get it right. <laughs> you can if you judge it right. It takes a bit of practice, but you can do it. <laughs> And we are back here on Coventry United uh, Ladies FC Media. Our time to score the Brooks Park Arena, Coventry United 1, London City 0. A uh, absolute rocket from Haiti Crackle that we're probably going to be talking about throughout the whole of the second half and probably uh, the next time we're on air in about two months as well. So let's have a look at some of your uh, comments, if we can, at half-time. Uh, Roy Evans just tuned in, says, uh, afternoon all. Uh, also says, uh, don't forget to switch the mic on at the break, Liam. Yeah, we did have a problem with that last week. <laughs> but uh, in all fairness, I think silence is probably better listening to me. Uh, Paul says, a good first half, London City on top, but Cough playing OK, and we've got the goal all to play for in the second half. That it is, Paul. That it is. Can't see any further changes been made to the London team. Of course, uh, Poppy Wilson was taken off uh, midway through the first half. Not injury-related, just a tactical sub. will be kicking from right to left in the red and green. London City in the turquoise have got it all to do in the second half. They've had long spells of uh, promising play being on top. But they were particularly wasteful in that first half. If they're going to get anything out of this game, they have to start hitting the targets. They're two one-on-ones in the space of a minute, both of which were sent over the bar. Coventry have had... Uh, only one or two decent chances, and they've scored one from about 40 yards. And Coventry United with a free kick there as uh, Morris took a knock in that aerial exchange. I'd say now the technical issue that we had in the first half hasn't now been solved, so we shouldn't have any uh, any screens cutting out or anything. That's good super with the Coventry goalkeeper, locked it away from Fife. Uh, was brought on in the first half. Here's apart from that, the uh, teams are still the same. Toussaint charging down, and a bit of afters from Toussaint called upon by the referee. That looks like there may well be a change. I think. Um, in fact, no, no, no. I'm sorry, I thought that was uh, number six on the field, not number 16. <laughs> For a moment, I thought that uh, Lenya Priest had been brought on, but no, in fact, that was uh, Harley Bennett. <laughs> confidence from uh, London City, still confident they can uh, not only get back into this game, but win it. Tall order, but stranger things have happened. The Coventry's first win of uh, the new year. Of course, games are. Uh, Fewer and far between at this stage of the season. It'll be two weeks, so three weeks before the United's next game. We'd like to uh, go into that little mini break with a win. 
And Balfour doing little to change the scoreline with that uh, low effort. And Coventry are set to make a change. It's Alice Hassel who will be coming on. Just looking to firm up in the midfield. Are they willing to settle for a 1 0? Bit of a push in the back there. Amy Waffen giving chase. Bennett has no choice but to stick it into touch. Gerald. Nolan taking that in that exchange with uh, Katie Morris and Dermody taking the ball away. And here comes the substitution now for Coventry United. It's uh, Helen Dermody coming off. Straight swap in midfield. So, job well done for Helen Dermody. Did all the ups of her. And now it's time for Alice Hassel to take over. Oh, looks like the um, printed name on the back of Hans Hassel's jersey is hanging off a bit. I need a bit of TLC after this game. Swiss <laughs> <laughs> here, up into the air. Ag trying to get to the loose ball. Has got to the loose ball. Lily Ag for the equaliser. Skews just to the right of the post. Enjoying today's coverage, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment with any feedback, uh, any messages that you want read out on air about the game. And just uh, drop them in that comment section. Don't forget to share with your friends as well. Let's get as many people watching and listening as we can. We're just shy of 900 viewers on today's broadcast. Great for a uh, brand new channel. Of course, Coventry United TV was the uh, previous home of the ladies' footage. It's now moved over to the uh, new and exclusive CU LFC Media Channel. Darting room from Fife. Crucial touch by Brown slows up play, but it has still found Primus. In by Murphy, out again by Nicky Miles. Surprise, surprise. Toussaint, shoulder to shoulder with Nolan and Toussaint still going. Now she needs to decide what she's going to do next. She's got the throw out of it, diverted out by Primus as uh, Toussaint looks to double back. So a throw on the far side of the field, level with the penalty area. Coventry have a promising opportunity here. There's a moment of magic that got them in front. United Craft a second with Ashley Brown taking the throw. Here's Amber Hughes trying to blast it off Murphy for the corner and she's done so beautifully. A second goal here would really put the cat amongst the pigeons. They do have aerial options in there. Destiny Toussaint, one of the uh, taller players in the team. Nikki Miles has uh, got a strong head on her shoulders. And in by Hughes. Not it up rather than out. Over Doksu, a bit of miscommunication between Over Doksu and Becky Anderson. And now the counter is on for London City Lionesses. Corner three on the right hand side is uh, Lily Ag, but Fitzgerald couldn't find her. It's cut out by Ashley Brown. Hughes looking for Tucson, deflected to Sharp. It's a shortage of today. Getting excited there. <laughs> Lotted into the box by Short. Can Fife bring it down? It's blocked up by Brown and Anderson clears. United living dangerously. Murphy. Sliding block by Hughes and out again. And now it's Destiny Toussaint. The perfect player for a counter for Coventry United, but London know this and they've got two players over her, and Coventry have got the free kick and a bit of afters there. It's a little like a bit of a kick out. Lioness's <laughs> uh, defender tripping Destiny Toussaint once the whistle had blown. They're being told that Leicester City are now leading. London Bees by three goals to nil. So as it stands, Coventry will move off the bottom of the table if they get the win. 
And an update from the uh, Charlton game. Charlton Athletic are beating Lewis. So Charlton won, Lewis nil. It looks like Charlton are leaving the relegation fight behind. It will be their second consecutive victory. A crucial time of the season. The keeper calling for it. The keeper gets it. Kelly Balfour. Balfour gets a touch on it and that allows Katie Morris to get back on the ball and Balfour a tad forceful there. Surprised not to hear the referee's whistle blow there. Looked a, well, a bit too much Powell's in play. The referee said it was fair game. Balfour. I was thinking about getting one back on Balfour but thought better of it. And Mickey Miles surging in on Fife and a free given against Coventry United. Well, Jay Bradford is having to be calmed down by uh, assistant manager Casey Moran. Let's just say that Jay is not the uh, biggest fan of referees. Uh, takes a seat in the door. I don't think Jay's been sent off. This is just uh, a bit of a calm down here. Is going to be short. It's long from short. And chested back to the goalkeeper by Alice Hassel. And we've had nine second half minutes. 54 gone. Coventry United lead by one goal to nil. A goal coming from Haley Crackle in the first half. Bouncing awkwardly for Toussaint, but she's Got the ball now, looking to keep it. It's Destiny Toussaint. Pass one, pass two. Still going, Destiny Toussaint. Tried to do a little too much, perhaps. And Short has got it back. It's now with Primus. Fitzgerald. The space on the right for Balfour, but Haley Crackle does enough. And Short's got a handful of shirt there, but only for a split second. Waffen trying to get Coventry United on the move again, but it looks like Waffen has. Uh, the blow to the ankle, throw into London City and put straight out by Becky Anderson. Now the referee is in fact going to, well, well she was thinking about stopping the game, but uh, Amy Woffen is off the pitch, so uh, no great problem for the game there. And the referee, I believe, wanting to give Coventry the chance to get the uh, 11th player back on the field. Well, Coventry are going to make a change now. <laughs> London were wondering why the um, why the play wasn't being restarted. Well, Georgia Stevens was ready to well, getting ready to come on. She uh, got the call rather late. So Coventry for this passenger play will have to play with uh, ten players. And now that passenger play is over, and Georgia Stevens can enter the fray. Uh, it is going to be, I uh, believe, Amy Wofford leaving the field. A good point from uh, Casey Moran, the referee. Does have uh, complete control of the match. The players will, of course, on both sides try to uh, influence the referee, but uh, hopefully, calm ahead to prevail. So it is confirmed Amy Wofford is leaving the field. Took a bit of a blow to the ankle, but it seems like it. That problem's a little higher up the leg. Let's force her off. But uh, it's a real shame. Maybe Waffen was having a, uh, a good game. And the throwing is going to be taken again, I believe. The uh, linesman wasn't in position. Uh, Amy Waffen limping back to the uh, technical area. It's a real shame. Amy was uh, really impressing. But uh, it is now an opportunity for... Georgia Stevens to make an impression. Ag across the penalty area, lopped it up by Brown. And Fife leaping into the side of the country like goalkeeper Sue Wood. Referee says nothing do, uh, doing well, no further punishment anyway. It was a free kick, but a little bit unnecessary, but only to be expected by a team frustrated with the current scoreline. 57 minutes gone, still 1-0 Coventry. I'm not sure let us know who you think our player of the match is. 
towards the end of the game. Amber Hughes. Close down by Murphy, but Hughes has certainly got some speed on her. Still going Amber Hughes. What a fantastic run this is. Draws it into the area for Destiny. Too slow. And London able to get it away. Toussaint was uh, on the receiving end of a challenge there. And it's back with Yanis. Stevens getting stuck in. The Coventry have made uh, two of their permitted five substitutions, but they only have one more window to use. Of course, uh, you've got five subs, but you've only got three opportunities to use them. So if uh, United are going to use all five subs, you're going to have to bring on three in one go. Area in Fran Orthodox, who does very well. Orthodox has really held down a starting place since they moved from West Bromwich Albion. And you can tell now how it's London want this. Can United keep them out indefinitely? Miles shepherds that one back to Sue Wood and the Coventry United goal. Just getting a score update for the Charlton match. Charlton 1, Lewis 1. So Charlton have been pegged back at home to Lewis. And as we said, I believe Leicester are still beating London Bees 3 0. So it's in the table, it's looking good for Coventry, but of course they've got to keep this lead. And Balfour will try and ensure that United lose that lead. It just whistled over the corner. Well, a good friend of Coventry United, Craig Hadley. I said, what a huge result this would be for Coventry United. I remember the last game between United and Lionesses was end-to-end, -end and United were perhaps unlucky to lose that game. But on that occasion, it was Coventry who was rather wasteful. Uh, Shannon O'Brien, if I remember, had a great one-on-one -on -one opportunity, but uh, couldn't take it past the goalkeeper. And it was London who didn't really create an awful lot, but did get the goals. At the moment, it's... Uh, Sort of the opposite, it's Coventry who haven't had many opportunities, but they have taken them. Well, Lioness is a, really shooting in the dark. But a goal kick, George Stevens thought it had taken a final touch off uh, Neville. Two, three, Joe Coffey is now back in the uh, technical area after a bit of a cool down period. Primus. Out muscled by uh, Ashley Brown, but it is going to be a throw level with the penalty area on the left hand side for London City Lionesses. It really is. It really is a time of pressure for uh, both Coventry and London, the pressure to score for uh, London City, and the pressure to, to keep London out for Coventry. Praise from uh, Jay Bradford, Coventry United Ladies Manager. There's been uh, real pressure on Coventry in the last few months. And today they are handling that pressure well. As the last win came in November. That was uh, against Charlton Athletic. They've only won twice all season. One being against London Bees, the other against Charlton. But it hasn't been for the want of trying. They've put in fantastic performances. They've just been unlucky at times. Of course, uh, injuries and the uh, pandemic haven't made things easy for Coventry, but to their credit, they've kept going. They've never given up. And that's what they've got to do today. They've got to channel that energy today. Play it until the very last whistle. Yeah, they haven't got the uh, prizes they deserve this season, but uh, this would be a very big scalp indeed if they can hold on. It's a very big if. It's, uh, Always nice to be in the lead, but certainly both teams are going to be nervous until the very end. It's a free kick, cheaply given away. Well, in the city, sending a few subs to warm up. Fresh legs could be the difference at the end. Becky Miles didn't get the on that clearance that she wanted and now it allows Fife onto the ball. Primus. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Force back towards the halfway line. 
Lobs it to the right hand side for Kelly Balfour. Offside flag raised against the London number 14. Tucson tripped in that exchange. Not an entirely uh, graceful challenge from Grace Neville. Crackle, could it be a second long range spectacular? It wasn't a million miles away. Crackle looking for a repeat performance. <coughs> Dancing run from the back. Just saw a free kick there, not forthcoming. Balfour calling for it on the right hand side and a diversion from uh, Fran Orpha Doxu sending it back to Sue Wood now for those who don't know um, a bit of information here for you Atlanta Primus uh, is actually the daughter of Linvoy Primus the former Portsmouth defender so Atlanta following in uh, her dad's footsteps so to speak of course Linvoy was a defender and Atlanta is more of an attacker uh, I think it's safe to say uh, he's got more chance of scoring in that family. And the huge trying to close down Bennett. As this game goes on, energy levels are going to be of great importance. And uh, the referee has stopped the game due to a potential head injury to Ashley Brown. Or hitting her pretty hard in the face. And the um, medical staff are indeed called over. Can't say head injuries too serious in the modern game. Well, Coventry have sent uh, a few more substitutes for a warm up. You can see Phoebe Warner, Holly Chandler, and Jenna Roberts. All going for a, a quick stroll. Also on the bench for Coventry are our goalkeeper Liv Clark. Uh, winger Beth Merrick. Commentary have made two of their permitted five changes, but have used two windows. So they can only make a substitution once more. We've been told that 4 0 to Leicester City against 5 0 now. <laughs> Mikey Connor's on the ball. Well done, Connor. So, uh, yeah, I think it's safe to say that uh, London Bees probably aren't going to win today. As it stands, uh, Coventry would leave the bottom of the table. They've been there for uh, a couple of weeks. As it stands, one team will be going down, but it's uh, not certain at the moment if there will be relegation. Uh, a, because of the uh, future of the National League season, and B, because uh, we hear that there are plans to expand the FA Women's Championship and the Super League. Uh, it remains to be seen if uh, any teams will drop down, but relegation or not, no one wants to finish bottom of the pile. And we're also just hitting the fourth goal for Leicester City, was scored by former Coventry United striker Shannon O'Brien. Well, Shannon uh, moved to Leicester in uh, the January transfer window. Of course, we nothing but the best of Shannon. But uh, in the Strikers' absence, Coventry are leading 
by one goal to nil, and that's six nil. I, I don't know whether Connell's just taken the mickey here or, or Leicester are going mad. No, no he, he is. He is bang on right. It is Leicester City six, London B's nil. So we were talking earlier about goal difference. Of course, Coventry had a spell in, uh, in the winter where they were conceding a large amount of goals in successive matches. And that has obviously affected the goal difference, but that's a 6 0 scoreline. Don't know if it's going to finish that way, but that scoreline could do come to the world of good in terms of goal difference. Well, apparently, Shannon's got two. Shannon O'Brien got two goals for Leicester. So she's certainly enjoying herself at her new team. Toussaint with a bit of pressure from behind. Now to a Balfour. Lily Ag. Anton trying to cover her off. Ag looking for a way through. Balfour on the edge of the penalty area. Running up rather than out. Can Coventry get it away here? Crow's got to get it clear. Ag. And now the freak has been given for a push from Katie Morris by Lily Ag. Coventry surviving again. And um, Nathan Promise, I believe, is. Um, Atlanta's brother has said that uh, Atlanta scored a couple more than uh, than Linvoy. Hopefully, she can grab a couple today. And it's far from game over, so we've got plenty of time here at the Butts Park Arena. And I think Coventry United fans are going to be short of uh, fingernails at this rate. They may have to start working on the fingers themselves. 68 minutes gone, so just 22 to go. You know, halfway through the second half in the final quarter of this match. And so far, Hayley Crackle's thunderbolt is all that separates the two sides. Playing dangerously at the back there, London City Lionesses, but it's, uh, it's a relative safety from uh, Shea Yanez. Quiet second half for uh, Yanez. And London piling on the pressure. Coventry haven't really been able to challenge the London City goal. And he would be very disappointed if they were to come away from this match empty handed. But at the moment, that's how it stands. Neville. Nolan. Now to Bennett. And it's cut out by Alice Hassel. Cautiously looking for options and. I'm not sure if she was trying to play one through for Destiny Toussaint, but uh, it hasn't worked out that way. Easily intercepted by uh, Ali Murphy. That's all battling with Primus, dropping deep. It's with Hannah Short. Fife. And Stevens able to find Ashley Brown, but Brown's got to get it clear. And Hasden chips it back over to Georgia Stevens. Amber Hughes stretches and able to, able to find Katie Michael. Coventry wanted to play on. Stevens was free on the left hand side. Uh, no sign of any further changes for Coventry, but it looks to me as if uh, Juliet Kempe is getting ready for London. Can be a dangerous striker. In a position like this, London needs more firepower, so it wouldn't be a surprise to see her come on. She's going for a warm-up now, and London have said they want to straight out for another throw in over the head of Jay Bradford, who I'm not even sure was aware the ball was coming towards her. We've got a big shout-out to uh, John Holland at Wow Hydrate, who's tuned in today. Wayward ball collected by Alice Hassel, trying to slip it through for Amber Hughes and barged off the ball by Bennett. Forceful but fair, says the referee. I think it would have been harsh on Bennett to give a free kick there, but now Wood's going to have to come out and meet Balfour as she's done it. Now she's going to get back to her line and Coventry managed to crowd out Grace Neville, but Neville was coming back for more. Here's Fife. And Hayley Cracker with the interception. It's got to be the most entertaining match I've seen all season. But the managers won't care about entertainment value. They want points and they want prizes. At the moment, the prize is going to Coventry, but there's still plenty of time to change that for London. Here's Primus. And 
Nicky Miles preventing the cross from Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald looking a little bit laggy at the moment. And Miles just locking it into touch. 18 minutes to go here on CULFC Media. Coventry United 1, London City Lioness is nil. Here's Yanez. To short. Floated over towards Fitzgerald and Nicky Miles able to get there. It was actually Lily Ag. Here's Nolan. London with everyone pressing up. Will it be enough this time? It's Primus. And from behind, that was Ashley Brown getting a touch on the ball and preventing Primus from sending it goal bound. Over to Atlanta Primus. Two players on the goal line for London City. Two shots coming back as well. You know, with only one player up, it's knotted up. And it's saved brilliantly by Sue Wood. The close range header caught. You can hear the frustration from Lily Ag. She fought as she just bagged the equaliser. But Sue Wood had other ideas. Towards Toussaint, not in up by Ag. Amber Hughes barging in on uh, Harley Bennett. Free kick given. Uh, it doesn't look like Coventry are in the mood to make any more changes. So this could be the team that finishes the game. Uh, London have uh, only made the one change. That was in the first half when uh, Fife came on. Uh, Kempe is still warming up. We expect their introduction very shortly. Ag was calling for it, but it's trickling over the white line. Coventry United have the goal kick. Well, remember, the next time we uh, come to you will be on the 25th of April. That is uh, the home game against Crystal Palace. Uh, we will only be filming two matches now from here to the end of the season because uh, the next uh, two games for Coventry United are FA exclusives. Those are the games against uh, Liverpool and Leicester. Uh, also, Blackburn as well, so free actually, because we can't film at Liverpool either. So, with five matches left, we're only filming two, which of course we're disappointed about, but uh, those are the breaks, unfortunately. With one home game left, Coventry have to make the home games count, and Balfour is offside. And it's lucky for Coventry that Balfour had strayed past the last defender because she had acres of space. If you timed the run just a little better, Coventry could have been in serious trouble. Everything you've got, girls, keep pushing. This win could be absolutely crucial. Wood. It's off the head of Stevens. Of uh, went in with the uh, going with the arm. Of is trying to run away from the referee. I'm not sure that's going to work. And Kempe is uh, going to come on at last. And it is going to be Lily Ag. No, it is no, it's Grace Neville. Grace Neville leaving the field. So a striker for a defender. And for example, a quick word with Fran Orthodoxu, who uh, you can probably understand, trying to waste a little bit of time in that exchange. Time is of the essence. We only have 13 and a half minutes left. And London have played their next card with Kempe coming on. Could have done with uh, Elizabeta Ijupi, the uh, Albanian striker who scored four goals this season. Uh, she's uh, out of the squad there, believe with an injury. Dangerous times here for Coventry. Fitzgerald backing into Becky Anderson, and she's got the corner out of it. I mean, unlike Coventry, London are not wasting time. They want to get this ball in the box as soon as possible. 
not just thinking about the point, they're thinking about the victory as well. So are Coventry, they've worked hard to get into this position. And they want to do their best to keep it. At the far post is Fitzgerald. Poor first touch, allows Brown to make the block. As far as Lily Ag slide in by Fran Orthodoxu. Ag is injured, but Coventry will continue as they're entitled to do. Here's Amber Hughes now sprinting up the right hand side. She's got options from behind her. She's going to keep on going on her own as Juliet Kemby keeps tracking back. Ag still on the ground, but Hughes still going, still going, and makes the try to make the cross, but it's blocked off. Ag is still down injured. It looks like it may be a well, certainly a painful injury. Ag is uh, not getting back to her feet. And the uh, physio is called over. We'll uh, keep the camera off, Lily. That's uh, both Lily Ag and Fran Orthodoxy sliding in for the same ball. I don't think you can put blame on uh, either player, really. And there are more subs warming up now for London, but of course they're in the same situation as Coventry now. They've got three subs they can use, but only one window to use them. Uh, the remaining subs on the bench for London City Lionesses are uh, Nina Wilson, Chantal Mackey, Yelena Priest, Frida Iyisi, Annie Rossiter and Lily Percy. Uh, for Coventry United they have Liv Clark, Holly Chandler, Phoebe Warner, uh, Beth Merrick and Jenna Roberts. Well, Ag is uh, receiving treatment. His, uh, seconds tick away but of course this will be added on. Injury time will be the most nervous time of all. Chris says, uh, come on Coventry, all about game management. They yeah, obviously have got to be so careful now at this uh, time of the game. I've got to say that Lily Ag is now back on her feet and should be able to continue playing. Which is uh, good news for London and uh, good news for the game as well. Coventry do have the throw. And Ashley Brown with the throw. Hughes ducks, allowing Toussaint onto it. Fortal challenge from behind by uh, Short. And it's a fair one, and it's a throw into Coventry. Going to uh, hit the like button if you are enjoying today's game. And leave any comments you want read out in the comments. Hughes, across the face of goal. Hassel trying to get to the seconds. Balfour looking to sprint around there, and she's done so. Hayley Crackle can't make the block, but Katie Morris can. Lop it up towards Atlanta Primus. Anderson all the way back. Anderson in real trouble now. He's got to get away, but she's given it away cheaply to Fitzgerald. It's Primus to make it 1-1. Atlanta Primus, Nikki Moss blasts it clear. Is going over to check something with the linesman. Not entirely sure that uh, it's being discussed. The wait continues, and uh, London want the game started again. Returning to where the action is. No further punishment. And a throw from Bennett. Return ball by Primus. And looked like minimal contact. to be Atlanta Primus with the free kick following that challenge from Georgia Stevens. It's Primus towards the near post. Orthodoxu crackles header and that should get United relatively clear now. Here's Kempe. 
London it back to Murphy. United chasing London all the way. Yes, to Murphy. It bounce off Liliag. Brown could go back to the goalkeeper, but tries to chip it up the right-hand side. Keeping London at bay for a bit longer. Seven. Seven minutes left. Plus a time of which there will be a fair portion. I'm expecting at least four minutes. It's always the way when you're in front. And it time seems to be an eternity. Is that handball against Morris? I feel sure there was an awful lot she could do about it. Here's Kempe. Plenty of options in and around that penalty area, but she won't get to use them. Ashley Brown has had a fantastic game today. So they can send up a player of the match. Get your recommendations in for player of the match in the comment section or on Twitter at Cov United LFC. Kempe gets there ahead of Miles Primus. It's off Primus's head, and that's going to be a goal kick. But every time that ball goes in the penalty area, if you're a Coventry United fan, you feel nervous. In all fairness to Coventry United, they've probably seen more of the car park than they have of the uh, opposing penalty area in this second half, but it's working for them. They've got the 1 0 advantage, they're happy with the 1 0 advantage, they want to keep the 1 0 advantage. Morris backing into the uh, midfield on Nolan. It's fucked up field by Becky Anderson. Destiny Toussaint racing out to try and meet Yanez, but Yanez has got there first. She's not doing her best to uh, slow up play. Of course, it's uh, all fair when the, the ball's in play, when the time is ticking. Primus. Now, Callie Balfour. Can London make one of these opportunities work? No, they can't. Poor ball play from uh, Hayley Crackle, but Balfour's wrestled it back. Morris tries to block Balfour's path. Locked it in by Murphy towards Fitzgerald. Wood comes for it. Wood doesn't claim it, but somehow, I mean, front of the docks who's got it away. Tensions at an all time high as we head towards the final whistle here on CULFC Media. Coventry 1, London 0, as we enter the final stages of this game. Jay Bradford issuing instructions from the touchline. Can her girls hold on for an impressive victory? Mud it up. Wood with the block, it's up the side netting, that's going to be a goal kick. Molly Sharp with the header. And Fitzgerald is doing Wood's job for and placing the ball on the edge of the six yard box. Um, you can probably hear London not happy with the uh, time wasting tactics. But, uh, I mean, they'd be first to admit they'd be doing exactly the same thing if they're in Coventry situation. It's a part of the modern game, unfortunately. Of course, we want to see end to end stuff, but Coventry have to manage this game. They have done so far, they've got to continue to do so. Anderson trying to shepherd it into touch and she's done so. Great job from the makeshift centre back. Of course, Becky Anderson is actually a central midfielder that's playing at centre back today with Anna Wilcox out due to a suspension. But she's done brilliantly alongside Nikki Miles. <laughs> that one goes straight out. Tucson nearly ended up ploughing through the uh, London City coaching team. Hopefully no one hurt. Here's Yanez. It's been a quiet second half for Shea Yanez. And it's been anything but quiet for Sue Wood. And that ball on the back is not going to help as Kempe is unable to catch up. No sign of any further substitutions for either Coventry or London. We are into the final three minutes, but there will again be a sizable chunk of added time. Seven 
Magnus Hassel coming out with the ball, but Coventry have lost it in a dangerous area. Balfour's free on the right-hand side. Liliag. Now Murphy. Short. Bennett's on the left-hand side. Here is Harley Bennett, the captain. Drives it up the left-hand side. Quick passing from London. Open Coventry up at the back. Five goes to the ground. Nicky Miles, Coventry can't clear. Too many players in the way. Primus. Bit of a miss hit from the, the striker. And we're being told now the score in the Leicester Barnet game is 7 0 to Leicester. We know that Shannon O'Brien's got at least two of them. Uh, let's have a look at the Charlton game. So the score at the moment is uh, Charlton 1, Lewis 1. So Coventry at the moment are catching up by two points to Charlton. That will nearly make up for the deficit lost last week. So if my maths are correct, they'll be two points behind. But they'll be two points in front of London, who only have three matches left. Nicky Mars gets there ahead of Primus. Everyone back for Coventry. Everyone getting forward for London. Even the goalkeeper's heading up towards the halfway line. Murphy. Fitzgerald. Will Nolan try one from range? He was thinking about it. Plays it back to Harley Bennett. Every outfield player in Coventry's half now. But Fran Overdotson trying to bring it back. Getting stuck in from behind. And the referee has given a free kick there. And Orthodoxy preventing Short from taking the free kick, wasting more precious seconds. We're into the final minute of added time. There will be a lot of stoppages. We're thinking four to five minutes. So Coventry will have to hold on a little bit longer. It's going to be Yanis to take it. The goalkeeper in the opponent's half. Lobs it in, headed up. Stevens can't clear. It's with Primus, Coventry have got to push London back. Wood comes out to claim it. And that's got to be a... Well, it would have been a free kick. Wood's taken a bit of a blow there as uh, Ag leaped into her. <laughs> this would be Coventry's second home win of the season. The first came on the opening day against London Bees. The second came in November against Charlton. They've had to wait. They've had to scratch and claw for every single point this season. But at the moment, they're getting free. They've just got to hold on. That's going to be a throw in for London. And added time has now started. We are in added minutes at the Butts Park Arena. It's drama right to the last. And Coventry have given away a free kick. There is Hayley Crackle and Atlanta Primus going head to head. Now it's just a waiting game. Waiting to see when the referee will blow that whistle. Well, Lily Ag was down for a good couple of minutes of injury earlier in the uh, second half. So that will take up the majority of added time. The goalkeeper once again taking the free kick. Everyone in around that penalty area for, for both London and Coventry. Miles calls for it. Miles gets it. Well, Nicky Miles would certainly be my player of the match. And. The referee wants a word with Fife. So no, it's, it's a Tucson, which said 21 there. So Destiny Tucson is going to go into the book. But that, that's actually the first yellow card of the game. In the 92nd minute. Uh, stop it, Fine. Here's Primus. Anderson sends it out. Off Primus has a goal kick. Uh, Mr. O says Miles is his player of the match. Uh, Mia Free says, thank you for streaming this match. Wish the other teams would do the same. Well, quite a few teams do stream. I think Luke Lewis do Durham as well. That's, uh, we certainly enjoy it. As far as we know, we're only guaranteed one more match for the rest of the season. That being the Crystal Palace game. We're hoping to do Durham. We haven't got confirmation of that yet, but we have got at least one match left. It has been a pleasure to bring you the uh, action throughout the season. Great personal honour covering the games in the FA Women's Championship too. Coventry pushing London back as 
far as they can. And Nicky Miles drilling it. United want the game over. I don't know how long there's going to be. We've had at least two minutes. Floats over Primus, and Wood will take her time here. Wood wasting every second that she can. And the referee with whistle in hand. When will it blow for the final time? Coventry hope it will be sooner rather than later. Locked it away by Wood. Short. Balfour couldn't get much contact on that. Hassel. Now with Destiny Toussaint, couldn't control with the chest, but Katie Morris gets stuck in. And now it's with Amber Hughes. Coventry have got to get this ball up the other end of the park. Toussaint's with her. She's got Brown behind her too. Amber Hughes darting towards the corner. She's given away the throw in, but precious seconds wasted in London are at the wrong end of the park. Should be it. The match continues and London City may have one final opportunity. They've got Comdre a little bit stretched the bumper. Hayley Crackles brought it to feet. Here's short again. So my nerves are jangling. I don't know about you guys. Balfour. Comes trying to keep her in the corner. Here's Lily Ag. And deflected out for the, for the goal kick. Ag trying to put it out for a corner. It is a goal kick to Coventry United. Could that be it? How crucial could this win be for Coventry United? They've got to get to the final whistle. Referee saying, come on, Sue. Get that ball back into play. Locked it away by Wood. And Coventry United have their first win of 2021. And look just what it means to the Coventry United players and coaches. Absolutely sensational. Coventry United have scratched and clawed for every single kick in this match. And it was a moment of absolute magic from Hayley Crackle that has sealed Coventry United's first win since November. Their third of the season, their second at home. And crucially, the Red and Greens move off the bottom of the women's championship table with London Bees losing by a comfortable margin to Leicester. Charlton drawing two, so the Red and Greens have certainly put themselves right back in the race. Coventry United won, London City Lionesses nil. And that is all we've got time for here on CU LFC Media. I think you'll uh, agree that that was one of the matches of the season, not just for the win, but for the fantastic performance of both sides. You've got to feel for London City Lionesses. They gave everything. We just couldn't break down a massively robust Coventry United side. We do, of course, wish London the very best for the rest of the season. We'll see you next time in, uh, well, seven weeks, I think it is. 25th of April, we're back. Coventry United with three games uh, in between against uh, Blackburn, Liverpool and Leicester, uh, all of which are exclusive to either NFC TV or the FA player. But uh, all we can say now is thank you very much for joining us here on CU NFC Media. We'll see you on the 25th of April for the Crystal Palace game. Thank you and goodbye. Take care.